Okay, so today we're going to look at a visual way of um, intuitively seeing what's going on with orbits in a DDS, and it's called a cobweb plot. It's kind of a great name for this because they end up looking like cobwebs. Um, and I just want to show you how, how to draw one in a simple case. We can get the computer to draw it in most, most cases, but it really helps to do it yourself a few times to get a feel for how it works. So basically, we have a DDS, you know, Xn plus 1, uh, Xn plus 1 equals capital F of Xn, it's our standard DDS. And we want to start with an initial value, x0, and see what happens to it, see what the orbit is. So we plug x0 into uh, f, right? We get x1 equals f of x0. And then we get x2 equals f of x1. So basically, we have to plug the output of f back into its input, and x3 equals f of x2, and so on. So the cobweb plot is a way of doing that graphically. And let's, let's, let's um, pick a few x zeros and see how it works for the cobweb plot. Suppose I pick x0 here. Let's see. Let's say start x0 there. And then I want to take f of x0. Well, that means go to the graph of f, which is in blue. The graph of f is in blue here. Um, the red line is the line y equals x. Um, now, I need to take the output, which is now uh, x1, right? This is actually x1 here. Um, x1 is the output of this. And I need to take that and play, make that an input so I can find x2. The way the cobweb diagram does that is it just moves over to the line y equals x, because every point on the line y equals x has the same x and y coordinates. So now I've interchanged the y coordinate for the x coordinate, and now I can go ahead and plug that into f again to find out what x2 is. We go to the graph of f, and now we interchange the output for the input by going over to the line y equals x. And then in this case, to go to the graph of f means to go up to it. And then we interchange uh, the output for the input, so we move to the line y equals x. And you can actually see that this cobweb plot seems to be spiraling in on this particular point. And this particular point is a fixed point of, of the DDS because it's a place where the graph of f crosses the line y equals x. So that's one example. Let's try a different example for our cobweb plot. Suppose we pick x0 over here. Then again, we figure out f of x0, that means going up to the curve, right? And now we have to find, that, that's, that's my x1, um, but to find x2, I have to take the output and uh, turn it over to an input, which means I go over to the line y equals x, and then up to the graph to find x2, and so on. And you can kind of see that, even though I don't have the graph continuing, it looks like this orbit is actually moving further and further to the right. So the cobweb diagram shows that one of the orbit moves to the left but gets caught and spirals into this fixed point. The other orbit uh, seems to be just moving towards the right. So this is an example of how the cobweb diagram can give you a really intuitive feel for the nature and destiny of the orbits.